Here we go. Chat. We got another. Uh, we got another Boomer versus Zoomer matchup, guys. King Randy versus Fast. Uh, Fast we actually had on not too long ago uh, against Feed first, and then uh, Angelotti I think was on the last stream. But we had Fast play against the boomeriest player we could think of, which was Feed, who is in the top uh, 100, who's 25 years old, and. Um, we were almost gonna have King Ranny. We actually asked King Ranny and Feed, but Feed ended up being older than King Ranny, so it felt like a better Boomer versus Zoomer matchup. Um, but now, why not get the Boomer versus Zoomer matchup we were looking for before? So fast, the 12-year-old going up against King Ranny. I think the 24-year-old. I think that's what we decided. Um, fast is, or Feed is a little bit. Uh, how how do you say, older than him? Fear you hit 4K on YouTube? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm nowhere near 4K on YouTube. Um, but sure, we're about to hit 4K on YouTube. Let's put it that way. King Randy not going to be able to score on this first attempt. Uh, I'm really excited to see King Randy again. I think King Randy is one of the more exciting ones players to watch. Um, I can't tell if the game sound is a little bit quiet. I'll be checking that as soon as somebody scores again. Maybe it's just the lack of crowd on this map that I'm not used to. It'll be interesting to see how these guys' playstyles match up. Fast seemed a little tentative um, the first time he played, and against Angelotti, nice flick from King Randy. He's always had great ground game. Ground game. But um, let me see here. Do I have to turn? I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. But Fast had a very counterattack style play. I think his game against Angelotti was. Kind of a lot of credit to the way Angelotti was playing. I think he was going for some, you know, risky plays that Fast was able to just counterattack from his half. He didn't have to do too much creation on his own. I mean, both those guys are definitely capable. And I think Fast had a couple different, you know, aerial flip reset type plays where he definitely generated his own opportunities. But he's just, he's just Fast. I mean, like his name says, he's just a quick player, you know, on the rebound off of certain plays. And King Randy, a much safer style of play than the average ones player. So I wonder if it will be a nice counter for the youngster fast. As King Randy will start with a kickoff goal and a 45 degree flick as he gets demoed after getting a little bit too greedy for this possession. Fast, a nice setup. A good bouncing shot to get his second. Trying to turn something out of nothing with no boost. Did not have time to pick up the ball, but a really good bounce and hook shot, considering how little space he had. But that is quite the miss of a kickoff. King Randy tried to just sneak it straight down the middle because why not? But fast, able to recover in time. Now gonna have to play defense on low boost. Big whiff. I think we saw a good amount of whiffs from you know fast in his last game. He was still able to pull out the win. I think he won three to one. So fast one and one on stream. King Ranny, not quite sure what his record is, but he's had a lot of fun games. Good clear off the backboard. That was actually a really heads-up play from King Ranny. Playing defense on that air dribble from behind the ball. Oh my goodness, King Ranny's so fast right now, but couldn't buy a break. That was a great play, great setup, but he caught just the wrong bit of the post that sent the ball outside of the net instead of in. King Ranny looking for the double fast, a nice clear in the air. And the counterattack is this fast play style which has been working for him in games past. Very interesting decision from King Randy to fly up and clear this ball when it wasn't necessarily in a dangerous position. It cost him a lot of boost to make that clear, but it ended up being the right play. He has gotten the ball all the way back down to fast half. In fact, King Randy is having absolutely nothing of this ball in the air to his detriment on this last play, but he does not want the ball going up the walls he is trying to cut that off at every second he can. Maybe he's played against fast before. Maybe he knows he can't hang with uh, his aerial play. I'm not sure. But he certainly is trying to cut it off before he can get started. But a little over aggression on the sidewall would lead to a wide open net for fast. King Randy playing very fast today. He does not want to slow the ball down or get rid of his momentum 
And it has been working out for him so far. A nice backflip challenge to get a third. Something about Urban Central. I've never played Urban Central, but it sounds just like so quiet. They have no background noise on this map. Um, like they do pretty much every other map. But I guess that makes sense since we're inside a building here. This train station or whatever it is. Fast, getting control of the kickoff. Nice use of the camera angle from King Granny, but King Granny, man, he is not letting Fast get two touches in a row. Right now, basically Fast just has to rely on King Granny missing on his aggression because he is staying right on top of him at all moments, and he's going to find an opportunity to grab a fourth. Why not stay hugged on the opponent if you're going to be able to find these tight angles? Oh my goodness, Fast. Taps the ball just ever so slightly too hard off the back wall, and King Granny is hounding him, not letting him have any moment to make a mistake. Once again, King Granny aggressive on the kickoff, back to the back corner boost before Fast can get there. And oh no, the drift coming out. Fast gotta be shivering in his boots as the King Granny drift begins his play, but not able to find much. So fast, back the other way, looking to tie this game up with 30 seconds left to go. Fast, a great carry with very little boost, but can't turn it into much. A demo and a nice quick thinking by King Randy, or quick uh, thought out play. Instead of trying to initiate a dribble, getting in front of this ball, tapping it straight on net. A two goal lead for King Randy with 20 seconds left to go. Mo and chat thought King Randy would be taking this one said fast maybe doesn't have the smarts to take down a player like Ranny doesn't look like he's gonna have the time to come back in this one especially considering the way King Ranny does not just hide in net he forces you to fight him the whole way down the field which takes up so much time so King Ranny gonna win this game number one just listen to how silent this map is are you kidding me it's so quiet King Randy versus Fast, game one. All right. King Randy versus Fast. Game number two on Farmstead. Chase on the Great. Taking us through all the maps in this show match. Well, maybe leave it on uh, Farmstead if we don't get another map choice from him. King Randy. Suffocating play in game number one. Absolutely suffocating as he did not let fat did not let fast breathe the whole game. And while it did lead to some mistakes, it's so hard to play that aggressive play style and not ever, you know, leave a wide open net waiting for the off. Oh my King Randy, don't do it to him. Holy cow, he's just playing so quick. I don't know if I've seen King Randy play as fast as he is today. But he is just, as soon as he gets possession, he's turning it instantly into a great shot. He was, you know, a few feet away from an insane double touch play. But frequently, when you go for a player, or sorry, you go for a play as risky as that, you do leave your net open. And while King Randy was able to not leave it open enough in the last one, we'll see what ends up being the result of this game number two. A King Randy drift play, we are waiting for it. It's gonna have to happen at least once a game. And King Randy making it look like he's taking this to the side wall. He's actually taken a lot of balls up the side wall, so not a bad idea from Fast to try and predict it. Driving backwards, had to take that half flip. So he needed to adjust the way he was driving to make sure he didn't get exposed. And turns out King Randy was deep in his brain, knew exactly what he was gonna be doing. A direct kickoff goal, no better way to uh, clean up your play than immediate kickoff goals to make up. And Fast once again to control the kickoff. What a fake from Fast. Doing King Randy dirty on this kickoff. King Randy not a strong enough clear. Operating with very little boost. Has almost no choice but to go for that ball. But Fast knew he could get him to miss. A lot of kickoff action here in the past few kickoffs and King Randy oh my goodness what a save from fast somehow he kept King Randy out and I think he's gonna be able to get a pretty easy counterattack here King Randy was trying to recover quickly inside the net and did some kind of half flip that I think 
made him recover much slower. I'm not sure it would have mattered because even if he had fell to the ground immediately, Fast was going to have that lead on him. Both of them with very little boost. Dude, these players are insane. I, I can't stress it. I say this all the time, but I am so bad at recognizing fake kickoffs, and these guys always seem to do it perfectly. King Ranny, recognizing Fast, was going for his first fake of the game. Didn't need any context to know. You could just tell by the way Fast was loading up his flip. Nice hook shot from King to get his second. Fast. Getting the fifth off a nice wave dash on the kickoff. King Ranny, these kickoffs are kind of falling away from him. The deficit in this game has come from kickoff goals created either directly into net or, or quick plays, including that nasty fake we saw before. But this time, King Ranny in control of the kickoff, trying to go for the flip reset, can't connect, but might have done enough. No, fast, hitting that ball soft enough to make sure he can catch back up and get a continuation touch. So game number two going heavily in fast favor, much higher scoring than we saw before as King Ranny only won game number one ever so slightly taking it away by two in the last couple moments but not a bad recipe for success coming back here a great early flick making a read on the way fast was going to be recovering off that kickoff so a lot of good play off the kickoff from both these guys but you got to think that there's something that Katie could be doing to shut down these immediate kickoff goals. Fast is going to have another one. Just getting to the ball quicker than King Ranny. King Ranny hits flip resets now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think King Ranny hit a flip reset the last time he played on stream. But he's definitely improved his aerial game a lot. But he's still the master of the ground as he has a great low 50. These guys are just absolutely slapping each other left and right. We're getting a goal every 10 seconds. Bass needs to slow down the pace. He's got a three goal lead. So this constant scoring, I have to imagine, is gonna favor King Granny, give him a better chance at coming back. And a lot of it is due to these very volatile kickoffs that both of them are going for. Both of them shooting for that instant goal, apparently. Neither one of them willing to play a more defensive kickoff by themselves, maybe more possessions. King Ranny, a weak touch on net, and Fast will punish him. Fast baiting him into making the shot. Needed to be so much stronger. Fast waiting on the side wall, or it needed to go to the ground. One of the best ways to cover uh, or to make a defender miss who's defending on the side wall. And I actually think we saw Angel do this a lot to Fast in his last game, was to drop that ball low, make him come back down to the ground, which is so much harder to do when you're already high up on the wall. King Ranny not able to find anything on his next touch. Gonna let Fast have a free one. So Fast seemingly breaking open the lead a little bit here as Ranny losing his edge in the later parts of this game. But with how much people have been scoring, it is still completely possible for King Ranny if he keeps his head on his shoulders. He's got another first possession but can't turn it into something fast enough. Fast. Back into that corner boost, a very heads up play by him to continue past the ball as King Ranny was searching for him to demo him and take him out of the play. This shot easily saved and King Ranny should be able to pick up a corner boost so fast. Back out to midfield, gonna give King Ranny his space and he's into a normally deadly ground dribble. Oh my goodness, how does he do it, man? Look at this setup, a crazy pre-flip to flick this ball to midfield and it seemed like maybe he was giving away possession but threatening that bump against Fast, and Fast doesn't feel like it's comfortable to challenge him, and King Randy flicking it, taking it to the net. Oh my goodness, that was honestly insane. I can't imagine King Randy could repeat that too often, but that was, I mean, that was nutty. Randy, with a minute left to go, has four goals to make up trying to get ahead of Fast here, and he does so. He's been able to grab a couple different boosts from him. Trying to drift 
and catch back up with this ball. You see King Granny doing that boost drift more often than anybody else you'll see on stream. Trying to stay speedy. But he's had a lot of these weird flips, I'd say. Trying to uh, gain control, trying to play maybe a little bit faster than he normally does. And ends up missing some wave dashes, it seems. Fast, the air dribble, dropping it low. Should be an easy enough save. Not a hard angle to cover, but it's not going to matter as long as Fast is delaying the game. He will take it with 10 seconds left to go. Four goals, still the deficit. So Fast going to tie it right back up after King Ranny taking game number one. Fast takes game number two. Dude, there is something weird about the audio that I just can't explain. But, all right. King Randy versus Fast. Game number three. Randy and Fast all tied up one to one. King Randy owning the ground and just being more consistent in that game one to take it. Fast really doing most of his work on the kickoff in game number two. Just absolutely controlling the kickoffs. He let in a lot as well, but he still scored the majority. I got I got confused there. I don't know if it's these guys, maybe it's King Randy's car color. I, I didn't realize Fast was playing offense. Too focused on uh, talking about the previous games, but Fast up 1-0, 30 seconds left to go. Already a much slower scoring pace as these guys were slamming in a goal every five seconds it felt at the start of that game number two. King Ranny keeping with his aggressive play style in fast half. You live and you die by it, and right now King Ranny dying as he flies past the ball. Bouncing it off the sidewall, trying to continue his possession. Oh my goodness, did he almost mind game fast into lasering an own goal? Not quite. Oh, King Ranny. Not the best boost pickup and somehow didn't get demoed by fast. He was hauling into that corner. I don't get it, but fast is back clear. Not gonna work. King Ranny getting the demo the other way and the first. Fast playing really aggressive in King Ranny's half, trying to dive all the way to his back wall and clear it back into his own corner is certainly a risky play. Randy trying to hover at midfield. Does not want to leave the ball. And why not? He's had control of the boost for the entirety of this point. Fast back into the corner. The hook to set up for King Randy. Too strong, though. Did not leave him any shot opportunities. Fast to Doomsie. What a pinch clear from King Randy. Coming up to meet the ball. He has been playing. Aggressive defense, aggressive offense. He is just a new man today. I feel like I normally see King Randy playing somewhat defensive, but he does not want to let Fast have open touches. And maybe this is why, because Fast, absolutely lethal, great flip reset. Top shelf, King Randy has to watch it as it bounces down and in. Fast maybe getting a little warmed up against King Randy. I did not tell Fast who he was playing. Um, I just said, hey, you down? He said, yep, popped him right in, but I'm sure he saw before the game started. But no mental prep for King Ranny for that game number one, but maybe now he's ready to go in these games two and three. King Ranny continuing to keep the pressure on. Fast, a nice save, but almost certainly has cost him all the boost he has. You can see him taking a trip out to the pads. It's not going to matter. King Ranny will boom a power shot into that near post corner. Perfect play, fast, not quite driving all the way out to the boost, but instead just putting himself in an awkward position. And King Ranny will bring it back within one. Fast though, doing what win him that game number two. Just absolutely controlling the kickoffs. King Ranny delaying there, trying to slow down and stop. 
Something we saw a lot of players succeed in doing when they can't get a hang at the kickoffs against the player they're playing. We've seen Pale Rider do it to the most success. Nice demo dodge. That'll be a third from King Randy. Great play from him. As he bumps fast off a potential kickoff goal and does a great job to make fast go flying by. King Randy, a great kickoff of his own. Just not a lot of neutral kickoffs in this matchup at all. Ground position for King Randy. He is so quick to make his play, even far from the net right now. He wants to pull up and start it. He is so far off the net when he goes for this initial dribble. Barely just outside of his like 18 yard box on his side of the field and he's already up in the air. And we've seen players, you know, be able to do that. I know Young Evo and uh, some other players love to start that air dribble all the way on their own half, but there's a very few select people who can really make it work. Maybe King Randy trying to add that to his repertoire, but this time it will result in a fairly easy goal for fast. King Randy, a nice slow motion. Uh, Bounce shot, actually. Bounce hook shot. Didn't quite get the connection on it that he wanted, but it almost ended up working. Might have been a surprise how slowly it came off the ground. King Randy, there's one thing he's been doing a lot, and that is sticking on top of the ball to the very last moment. He doesn't care how low he is on boost. He is going to try and milk everything he can out of the possession before giving up. Nice counterattack. King Randy... Playing on very little boost, Fast thought he had an opportunity to clear it quick and score past him, but King Randy makes the recovery and the save will earn him an open net. When is Fast's birthday? I don't know. Yo, what up, Prism? Prism versus Gerard just went up on YouTube today, guys. The TikTok matchup. Fast! Controlling the aerial game this whole time will do it once again. King Randy can't get up fast enough, or really not high enough. He did seem like he got there, but he pulled off of his, uh, you know, vertical trajectory and tried to push forward. Couldn't get to the ball in time. Fast, continuing to dominate the airs. The airs, the multiple airs, dominating the air in this matchup. Randy stuck deep in fast half with very little boost. He is eventually going to give fast some space. But look, he does not want to give it for long. He has been challenging these wall dribbles so early, and it's going to earn him a goal here. Nice double touch and 27 seconds left to go. King Randy has played against too many of these guys who can do that full field air dribble off that corner boost. He is so quick to challenge it every time. Like, it's honestly insane because I've seen so many of these players rely on that dribble and nobody has cut it off like King Randy and never even really considered it to be a possibility. But King Randy has stopped every single one of those dribbles from fast by just pre-jumping and pinching the ball off the wall. Never letting that play get started. But this shot downfield, a demo by King Randy. He's still alive. It's off the post and out, so he's got a full field dribble. Fast, ooh, he closed the distance quicker than King Randy could get the ball ready with the dribble, but this is a great touch. Can he get back to it? He's got the space. No, King Randy, a great outplay. Definitely would have had that goal if the timer didn't run out, but it did, and Fast will put himself on match point as we head to game number four. GLHF, King Ranny, the nicest 1v1er in the game. The only 1v1er who could, you know, maybe challenge King Ranny for nicest 1v1er in the game, I think is Kali. But I don't know, King Ranny, legendary in his good, sportman good sportsmanship. Throwing the uh, GLHF over to Fast. Fast seems to have figured him out in these last couple games and he will once again take an early lead as he goes up 1-0. Yo, Acid RL, thank you for the follow. What's going on, Slimy Skills? 
Randy about to make you app. Oh, you know what? Clavin. All right. Clavin is good too. Chad, I knew I was going to forget somebody. I knew I was going to get outed for uh, for getting a good sport. But, you know, just because Clavin loves to demo so much, it, even though that's not bad sportsmanship at all, you know, it almost takes him out of the running. You know what I mean? A true great sportsmanship, even though for no reason, there's no reason not to do it. Demoing is fine. Let's put that on the record. But, you know, a true nice guy doesn't even demo. King Randy, his air dribble. Leaving a little bit to be desired, but my goodness, his recovery is so good. He's made it back on so many occasions after what seemed like complete let-ups of a goal. King Randy, not the best air dribble. Fast got to take it the other way. I honestly think Fast might have been playing it a little bit casual because he had a wide open net. Didn't think that King Randy was going to have any chance of getting back. And boy, was he wrong. King Randy not giving up on the play. Fast, a... Uh, very interesting kickoff decision there. Mo, who is the meanest player? Um, <laughs> let's not let's not do that. King Ranny taking a 50 at midfield with zero boost against fast. Is absolutely has been his MO all game. It seems like what he's doing right now is challenging with very little boost and it, it almost seems like he's letting a window open fast is trying to punish him and take these quick shots but king ranny knows they'll be coming is recovering appropriately and keeping fast for the most part from scoring on those quick counter attacks despite you know the aggressive greedy plays from king ranny this time it's not going to work fast will tie it up King Randy having a tough time getting up in the air to meet Fast. Fast just a little bit quicker on the trigger when it comes to balls above double jump height. Nice bounce dribble hook shot. Good enough to force a tough save, but Fast playing quickly on the counter attack. The ceiling shot. Oh my goodness. So close to pinching that in the top corner. And now he's going to have a tough time playing defense. Or maybe not. King Randy didn't have the boost I thought he did, so he has to take it to the side wall. A little fake flick. A potential turbo flick. But wasn't able to get the bump. Fast. Frequently letting the ball separate from him on defense, thinking that King Randy is going to give him some space to set something up. But King Randy punishes every single time Fast doesn't keep that ball glued to his car close enough to make an outplay. King Randy is rushing back in. Great at realizing those opportunities. And a nice dodge of the demo like he's been doing so well all series. All tied up. A little over halftime. 2-2. Two two. King Randy needing to connect on one of these air dribbles. But so far, oh my goodness, I think he just got a little bit lucky. These air dribbles have been basically counterattacks for fast almost every time he's gone for him. This time, Fast will miss on the long shot. Definitely had that opportunity, but you have to think King Randy either needs to adjust the way he's playing these dribbles or maybe go for a few less because he has been giving a free few goals too fast because of it, but Fast will make the miss, and King Randy, a nice bump play at midfield. Just so good controlling the ball on the ground even when there's a challenging opponent next to him the whole time. Always getting the ground out play. So a minute 30 left to go. King Randy needs this game win to force the game number five. Nice bump from Fast. Oh, my goodness. He just will not give up. But great recovery. Nice wave dash and use of the boost from King Randy. He does not care how many times you bump him. And a nice wave dash on the wall. Oh, my goodness. King Randy just playing so fast. But finally, his low boost will catch up to him. And oh, my goodness. Almost a miss from Fast again. But Fast will tie it up three to three. Top five best players on stream. We did a video like that recently. You can go look at my YouTube. Um, I think we did it after the Fear 500 season two. We did uh, a top five players on stream. Or it might have been after next gen. You know what? Actually, it was definitely after the Fear 500 season two before next gen. Minute left to go, 3-3, three to three, Fast trying to take this back into his corner to 
initiate a possession. King Randy staying absolutely consistent with his play style, not letting him have a single moment, and he almost had a great setup. A high awkward ball for fast to clear. Dude, King Randy, such a little pest right now, man. He is not letting, oh no! A miss on the open net. Now these guys have both traded missed open nets with each other and fast, a great early read on King Randy's play. King Randy is thriving when the ball is in fast half. Oh my goodness, I don't know how that demo went in fast favor. That felt pretty equal. Oh no, another fake. Oh, that could be it. It'll likely be it. Oh, King Randy. King Randy is so smart to recover on this instantly. I think a lot of players not nearly as, you know, strong as King Randy might have just sat at midfield and let fast kill time. But very heads up play from King Randy to instantly head back to net. Almost got that save. But he needs to keep the ball in the air and he's not going to. So a very close matchup and good games from King Randy and fast. But fast will take it three to one. GG's. GLHF, King Ranny, the nicest 1v1er in the game. The only 1v1er who could, you know, maybe challenge King Ranny for nicest 1v1er in the game, I think is Kali. But I don't know, King Ranny, legendary in his good, sportman good sportsmanship. Throwing the uh, GLHF over to Fast. Fast seems to have figured him out in these last couple games and he will once again take an early lead as he goes up 1-0. Yo, Acid RL, thank you for the follow. What's going on, Slimy Skills? Randy about to make you app. Oh, you know what, Clavin? All right, Clavin is good too. Chad, I knew I was gonna forget somebody. I knew I was gonna get outed for uh, forgetting a good sport. But you know, just because Clavin loves to demo so much, it, even though that's not bad sportsmanship at all, you know, it almost takes him out of the running. You know what I mean? A true great sportsmanship, even though for no reason, there's no reason not to do it. Demoing is fine. Let's put that on the record. But you know, a true nice guy doesn't even demo. King Randy, his air dribble. Leaving a little bit to be desired, but my goodness, his recovery is so good. He's made it back on so many occasions after what seemed like complete let ups of a goal. King Randy, not the best air dribble. Fast got to take it the other way. I honestly think Fast might have been playing it a little bit casual because. He had a wide open net, didn't think that King Randy was going to have any chance of getting back and boy was he wrong, King Randy not giving up on the play. Fast, a uh, very interesting kickoff decision there. Mo, who is the meanest player? Um, <laughs> let's, not, let's not do that. King Randy. Taking a 50 at midfield with zero boost against Fast is absolutely, has been his MO all game. It seems like what he's doing right now is challenging with very little boost and it, it almost seems like he's letting a window open. Fast is trying to punish him and take these quick shots, but King Randy knows they'll be coming, is recovering appropriately and keeping Fast for the most part from scoring on those quick counterattacks despite you know, the aggressive, greedy plays from King Randy. This time, it's not gonna work. Fast, we'll tie it up. King Randy having a tough time getting up in the air to meet Fast. Fast just a little bit quicker on the trigger when it comes to balls above double jump height. Nice bounce, dribble, hook shot. Good enough to force a tough save, but Fast playing quickly on the counterattack, the ceiling shot, oh my goodness, so close to pinching that in the top corner, and now he's gonna have a tough time playing defense, or maybe not, King Randy didn't have the boost I thought he did, so he has to take it to the side wall. A little fake flick, a potential turbo flick, but wasn't able to get the bump.
fast, frequently letting the ball separate from him on defense, thinking that King Ranny is going to give him some space to set something up, but King Ranny punishes every single time fast doesn't keep that ball glued to his car close enough to make an outplay. King Ranny is rushing back in, great at realizing those opportunities, and a nice dodge of the demo like he's been doing so well all series. All tied up, a little over halftime, 2-2, two two. King Ranny needing to connect on one of these air dribbles, but so far, oh my goodness, I think he just got a little bit lucky. These air dribbles have been basically counterattacks for Fast almost every time he's gone for him. This time, Fast will miss on the long shot, definitely had that opportunity, but you have to think King Ranny either needs to adjust the way he's playing these dribbles or maybe go for a few less because he has been giving a free few goals too fast because of it, but fast to make the miss and King Ranny, a nice bump play at midfield. Just so good controlling the ball on the ground. Even when there's a challenging opponent next to him the whole time, always getting the ground out play. So a minute 30 left to go. King Ranny needs this game win to force a game number five. Nice bump from fast. Oh my goodness, he just will not give up, but great recovery. Nice wave dash and use of the boost from King Ranny. He does not care how many times you bump him. And a nice wave dash on the wall. Oh my goodness. King Randy just playing so fast. But finally, his low boost will catch up to him. And oh my goodness, almost a miss from Fast again. But Fast will tie it up 3-3. Three to three. Top 5 best players on stream. We did a video like that recently. You can go look at my YouTube. Um, I think we did it after the Fear 500 Season 2. We did uh, a top 5 players on stream. Or it might have been after next gen. You know what? Actually, it was definitely after the Fear 500 Season 2, before next gen. Minute left to go. 3-3. Three to three, Fast trying to take this back into his corner to initiate a possession. King Ranny staying absolutely consistent with his play style not letting him have a single moment and he almost had a great setup a high awkward ball for fast to clear dude king Randy, such a little pest right now man he is not letting oh no a miss on the open net now these guys have both traded missed open nets with each other and fast a great early read on king Randy's play King Randy is thriving when the ball is in fast half. Oh my goodness, I don't know how that demo went in fast favor. That felt pretty equal. Oh no, another fake. Oh, that could be it. It'll likely be it. Oh, King Randy. King Randy is so smart to recover on this instantly. I think a lot of players not nearly as, you know, strong as King Randy might have just sat at midfield and let fast kill time but very heads up play from king Randy to instantly head back to net almost got that save but he needs to keep the ball in the air and he's not going to so a very close matchup and good games from king Randy and fast but fast will take it three to one ggs